Morning everyone, this is Lucio1ZFE and today is going to be a, an update showing what um, DVDs I purchased recently uh, there's not been that many to be quite honest we mainly concentrating on the Blu-rays uh, which was on my last update that was, my, that was all my Blu-rays that I purchased recently but since then I've uh, received some more through the post so what I'll do, I'll show what DVDs I've got and then the back end of the update I'll show um, about four Blu-rays that I picked up recently Okay, the first one, the first DVD anyway, is the Region 1 release of Irreversible. Now, I've never seen this film. I've heard fantastic things about it. Um, there's supposed to be some brilliant performances from uh, is it Vincent Cassell and uh, Monica Bellucci. Um, like I say, it's uh, had really good reviews. I've not been able to get this in my country for a long time. It's well out of print. So I had to go for the Region 1 release. This is the unrated version. Still sealed as you can see, so I've not got round to watching it yet, but it's one that I'm really looking forward to. Okay, the next one is a Region 2 release of a film called Rubber. Now this film is um, strange to say the least. I like this film. Um, this there. Uh, the first 10 minutes when I put it on, I was going to turn it off, because I thought, what the bloody hell is going on here? Um, but... It's a strange concept of a film. If you do watch this film, just stick with it because I really enjoyed it and I've seen it twice since. So I've seen it about three times now. Uh, basically, it's about this tyre that's um, got psychokinetic powers or something and uh, it just makes things explode. It starts off with like, animals and tin cans and stuff like that and eventually it goes on to uh, onto humans, as you can see by the front cover. Yeah, it's a strange film. But it's one that I really like, and it's one of them, it's going to be a bit like Marmite. You'll either love it or you hate it. But I really did like it. Like I say, I've seen it three times now, so... That's rubber. The next one is a great action flick. This is called The Man From Nowhere. It's absolutely brilliant, this film. Some amazing action sequences in this one. Um, I'm not going to give too much of the plot away. Um, basically, it's about this gentleman here, he owns a pawn shop. Uh, befriends this little girl and she gets abducted along with her mum because of some drugs and you know there's lots of different stories but it's um it's a really cracking film there's a fight sequence at the end regarding um this gentleman here with a room full of baddies and uh, a knife and he just does some evil things and it's just amazing one that I would recommend that's the man from nowhere another one that I would recommend is We Are What We Are. This again is Region 2 release. Um, Mexican film, subtitled of course. Basically it's uh, a family of cannibals whose uh, main provider, which is the dad, he dies. So like the boys have to step up to the plate, so to speak, and uh, start um, bringing in the meat. But it's a good film. I didn't, weren't too keen when I first started watching it. But as the film wore on, I really did enjoy it. So I can highly recommend that one. That's We Are What We Are. The next one is of a film that I've heard mixed reviews about. Not got high hopes for, really. And that's one called F. As you can see from the title at the top, a hoodie thriller with proper scares. Yeah, well, I'm not really um, holding out much hope for this. Don't get me wrong, it might be good, but I've not seen it. Uh, still sealed, as you can see. And uh, it might be good, but I can't really comment at the moment. But that's one called F. And the next two or three are basically 80s cheese. Now the first one is the Region 1 release, the special edition of Extro. This contains Extro and Extro 2. Uh, I remember watching the first Extro years ago when it first came out. I've never seen the second one. And I believe um, Jan Michael Vincent's in it. So that should be quite good, to say the least. Uh, yeah, but I remember liking the first one. I've not seen the second one. This is still sealed. Not got around to watching it yet. But it's one that I'm holding out. Not high hopes for, but if the original is good as I remember it to be, then this shouldn't be a bad purchase. Um, the next one is another 80s one, and that's Witchboard. This is the Region 1 Anchor Bay release. Uh, it's not a bad little addition, this, actually. It comes with the... Uh, little insert thing which got that like a 
a Ouija board type thing. Got the chapter selection. I watched this the other day. It's not a bad film. I only paid a few quid for it on eBay, so I can't really complain. A few special features on there. But yeah, I kind of enjoyed it. It's not a bad film. Not a bad film at all. The next one is Jamie Lee Curtis in uh, Terror Train. I've never seen this film, I must admit, so I can't really comment on it yet. Again, this is one I got cheap on uh, eBay. It's a Region 1 release. It's got them stupid discs, which I hate. Chapter insert there. Now, I've heard good reviews about it. It should be alright for a, for a fun Saturday night flick, so to speak. Yeah, so that's Terror Train. The next four are going to be uh, Blu-rays that have just come through the post this last week or two. First one is the Black Swan. This is the HMV exclusive with um, some art cards in the back. And this is a triple play edition. Let's see if I can get out of the slipcase. And there's the art cards. This is still sealed. Not got around to watching this yet. I saw this flick at the pictures, really liked it. Um thought Darren Aronofsky done a great job, and she was absolutely tremendous in this, I must admit. Uh, a note to all other Blu-ray companies, this is a fantastic cover, in my opinion. We don't need the blue, the blue logo and the Blu-ray disc for Blu-rays, we know what we're buying. And this is a lovely little see-through case, matches the film, or matches the cover anyway, fantastic. And also you get a nice slip case as well. So that's Black Swamp. The next one is a Canadian release of Clash of the Titans. This is um, the Blu-ray, DVD and digital copy edition. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of this film to be quite honest. Uh, the reason I got this was because it was dirt cheap. It was about 7 quid including um, shipping. And you also get a key ring at the back there. Like I say, this is a Canadian release. Still, still, not, I've not got round to watching it again. I mean, I may like it when I put it on, but I doubt it very much. I wasn't a big fan, but it's a lovely little release to have. And the price, like I say, was seven quid with shipping. Can't complain. It's a Blu-ray as well. So that's Clash of the Titans. The next one is of a fantastic, well, I say fantastic film. I've not watched it yet, but I've heard great reviews. And it's I Saw the Devil. This is Blu-ray again. Um, really looking forward to watching this film. I've not got round to watching it yet because I believe it's on for like 2 hours 20 minutes. And if I put it on at night, guaranteed I'm going to fall asleep. So I'll have to watch it early evening. But I've heard really good reviews. Um, and it's one I'm not looking forward to watching. So that's I Saw the Devil. And my last one is of a Blu-ray steelbook. Which I got for a fantastic price of about £13 including shipping and that's the Canadian release of No Country for Old Men this is the fantastic steel book that you get um, really really nice looking this one uh, loads of special features I uh, can't wait to watch this again I've seen it about three times now and once at the pictures and about two or three yeah about four times I've seen it actually about two or three times on DVD but I couldn't pass this up uh, like I say, Blu-ray, Steelbook, for 13 quid, including shipping. So that's a fantastic bargain. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So yeah, that's my update for today. Um, thanks for watching, rating, subscribing, doing the things that you do best. Really appreciate this. Uh, I've not been on YouTube as much as I should be because I've been rather busy with work and stuff like that. But I promise from now on I'll start doing more regular updates. So yeah, thanks for watching and you guys take care. Okay, bye.